Grand Rising, wonderful souls, and welcome to Roman's Cove Tarot. This is a timeless collective reading on what is coming forward. If you are a new face, welcome in. It's really good to have you here. And if you are a returning subscriber, soul family, hearts, kisses, it's good to have you back. And let me um, ring my bell. I'm going to be using a small one just because it's early and I don't want to wake up other people in the building. Which one am I going to use? This one here. Now, this is the third try doing this, this reading and it took me three tries to light the incense. The incense is... Um, it has the energy of Archangel Metatron and it's the connector universal love so that's quite telling there's been a lot of distractions or a lot of stops and starts um, so they're going to ring this bell and then I'll dive straight into the reading and just see what's what's going on right so if you have any type of sound sensitivity please turn down your listening device now please know that I still have a, a GoFundMe running in the background if you look down below in the description box I am uh, raising money or we are raising money and awareness for a um, independent charity that is in Sri Lanka it is the only animal center for street dogs and street cats in the entirety of the East Coast it runs on um, just donations if it doesn't have donations it it really struggles anyone that would like to be part of that please have a look down below there's loads of information there if you can't afford to um, send any money that's absolutely okay if you want to just share that awareness by passing on that GoFundMe to as many people as possible. Perfect. Now, let's see what wants to come out. I hope everyone's doing really well today. Hmm. Please know that my readings are for entertainment purposes only. Um, I have to say also that, you know, it's supposed, it's entertainment, but it's also supposed to just give you confirmation and clarity of what you already intuitively know. If it's not giving you that, then it's not your reading and that is okay. That's all right. Now let's see what's to come out today. We have the Three of Swords to Temperance and then the Fool. There's a, do you know what? There's, there seems to be um, some sort of resistance coming in and I don't know if it's coming from you or if it's coming from outside, if it's a past memory, what's going on here. But the Three of Swords in reverse, this is about healing heartache. This is healing from grief or loss or it's that period of time where we have sat in a certain energy where it could have been a loss of a loved one breaking up with somebody you know this relationship ending the end of a job that you wanted to keep whatever that may be in the the in the thick of it we are in the three of swords in the upright because it feels like betrayal or it feels extremely heavy on our hearts it's not until i don't know six months later or a year later that we can look back and go that actually was still it's still you know i can still feel a bit of a stab in my heart but i've been able to heal certain parts of it temperance in reverse is a lack of balance a lack of a lack of equilibrium um temperance is a really strong card for healing you know this this person this angel um they just got over all of these massive mountains behind them and there's a whirlwind right behind them and they're not stressing out they're just pouring their glass from one water from one to the other without missing a drop because they've done a lot of hard work and they've come to a realization in some way especially as we have this in between the crown and the third eye there is some sort of understanding that's been given to this person now with them being in, in reverse this is something that needs to be healed or well, this is something that um, someone is working on, I don't know if this is complete closure, because the fall is here in reverse, which means, yeah, and then you've got the eight of swords. This is something that um, I can, I feel there is a conscious wanting or desire to heal, but it's not yet, not completely. That's because if I just had these two cards by themselves, I'd be like, okay, whatever that was, that was making you feel, or making this person feel very of balance or unbalanced has been healed it's taken time there may still be that little pang but you can look back and go huh okay i'm all right now this full card coming out to the eight of swords this is something that someone is conscious of but they haven't healed yet now i don't know if this is you or this is someone else because it's stopping someone from moving forward and it, there seems to be um that mental it's like someone's shadow boxing with their own shadow at the moment and someone definitely is having like a tit for tat conversation in their head and it's trapping them. Okay, let's figure out who this is because this is interesting. You pop the fool, I'll put you up first and then I'll put you up. 
Can we get some clarity, please? One or two. Okay. Can I get some clarity on... Um, are those two the, not the right way round? Excuse me. I, I feel like someone has the wrong end of the stick. Or someone's not seeing something just yet. Because look, the Eight of Swords has come out again. This is being trapped in some sort of um, mental prison. Because when you look at this one here... She has her eyes blindfolded, but her hands are not bound. She's not bound, because if she took them off, she could literally just walk out. Then she's not trapped in any way, shape or form. The same in this one. This one is maybe being bound inside the house, not wanting to leave the home. Because he's looking out the window going, oh, no, 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 I can't go. But the door's right there, and there's nothing actually blocking the door. So what is it that is blocking someone here? What is this thought process of what? Can I get one for the Eight of Swords first? Okay, for the Three of Swords in reverse. Three of Swords in reverse. Three of Swords in reverse. You have the Seven of Cups. So this really is about mental clarity, about learning something that... Um, it almost It's almost like when you go through some sort of spiritual awakening where you have an aha moment. You can never go back to how you thought before because that perception was an old identity or an old timeline or an old, an old part of you and you've already evolved past that. So something here, now give me temperance. Can I get clarity on temperance please? Clarity on temperance. This one, this one. Thank you. King of Cups in reverse. Okay, so the King of Cups in reverse, this is either somebody who is childless, somebody who doesn't know how to navigate their emotions, or somebody who pretends to be very uh, nurturing and providing, and they're actually very mean. I don't know if somebody has had um, like an epiphany on this person, or this person has had an epiphany. Can I get the Eight of Swords, please? Eight of Swords, please. That's too many. Take them, okay way too many but okay we've got the seven of pentacles here this is rushing something someone here is overthinking something they did in the past where they didn't they didn't actually read the fine print they just rushed in and done something and it's it caused a tower of some sort that blocked them from moving forwards and at the time this was something that they enjoyed doing or this was something that they were like okay and i don't care and we've had the fall come out twice <clears throat> The first card here is the Seven of Pentacles, which I'm going to put down for the Eight of Swords. Now, the Seven of Pentacles in the upright talks about um, taking a, a pause, taking a moment to rest and reflect and look back at how far you've come, at how much you've worked, at how much you have grown into something, whether that's you yourself or whether you've been investing your energy into a hobby, into um, a business, into therapy, whatever that may be, right? In reverse, that's the lack of. That's just rushing into something without even thinking about it. That's no rest, no reflection, just bulldozing straight in. There is someone here who is reflecting on this. There's, there's somebody here is overly thinking how they misjudged something or they rushed into something and it caused a tower for them and it actually stopped something from coming forward. Whatever it is that they did, things like this are always about projection in my eyes. Not fact, just my opinion. Um... There was definitely um, a want or need to stop you from having a new beginning. And I'm, I need to kind of delve into that a little bit more because that could be romantic. It could be job. It could be family, whatever. And we need to figure that out, right? But whatever they did at the time, they were quite happy or pleased with doing so. Or they were relieved. Whatever decision they made, whatever rash decision they made, at the time there was a sense of relief after they did it. This is like, um, for example, imagine that you're a university and you have a specific amount of time to take in um, an essay. And the essay has to be in. Um, I remember when I was at uni, you had to have certain things in by a specific time in the morning. Or there was a set time. If it was after that time, you would just automatically get like a D, even if it was the chef's kiss, what best work. Um, this is like someone stealing why am I getting there like stealing your, your, your essay and rushing to get it in before you do, but it actually caused them a tower and it blocked them. But this is what they were trying to do to you because when they put it in, they were like, Whew. 
relief. Oh my gosh, I can I can stop stressing now. Not realizing that they bought this towel on themselves. And I don't know why I'm getting that specifically. But let's figure out. I'm gonna put the full down as well. So we've got the full twice. Bro. And then the nine of swords. How interesting. Can I get one or how many you need me to have for the full place on the table there? Thank you. Wait, wait, wait. The Hierophant, Four of Pentacles and the Six of Cups at the back with the Devil. So the first one I saw was the Four of Pentacles. This is releasing something, letting go of something. Letting go of something legal. Some sort of contract maybe, a bond a bond or a binding, um, a union. This Four of Pentacles is about control, but when you turn it this way, it's to do with releasing control, letting go of things, not feeling the need to hold on so tightly. It's sometimes perceived or seen in other decks as like a person or an animal having to touch every single coin or grabbing hold of it really tightly. This way is a release, letting go, that relief coming in. Hmm, letting go of some sort of blockage. Letting go of some sort of blockage, interesting. When it comes to a contract, when it comes to something binding. Can I get another card for the three of, thank you. Five of Pentacles has come out. Someone has healed um, heartache because it's got to do with gratitude. It has to do with either a lack mentality or a victim mentality. Now the Five of Pentacles is about um, feeling like you've been left out in the cold, like you are ruined or you're in regret or you, you know, you just don't have what you need. There's some sort of loss. And we were talking about that with the Three of Swords. Um, the Seven of Cups in reverse, for me, Seven of Cups has always been about illusions or options. It's fantasy. You can't see what is in those cups, but there are so many of them, you're going to have to pick one of them at some point or kind of sift through that illusion to find reality. When you swap it upside down and you become, it becomes the reverse, this is all of these cups emptying themselves so you can see exactly what's in them. The, the illusion is gone um, and you pick that one that you want. There's the reality. The reality of this healing for someone is knowing that this five of pentacles being in reverse has to do with a lack of regret or remorse. I don't know if somebody felt guilty. I don't know what this loss or grief is or there's been a period of healing where someone has really looked into themselves. That's where I was getting that energy of um, once you've, you've shifted your perception or shifted your gaze or shifted how you look at things. You can never go back. You may be able to empathise with why you were there before and see where you were growing from, but you can't go back to that view. Um, and those that, that first, the first row here is talking about that. that. Through healing, you saw some sort of truth when it comes to... It's either you or I need to figure out, is this... Are we talking about the collective or is this the King of Cups? If it's the collective, can you go up? King of Cups, go down. Clarity, please. Go down. So this is about the King of Cups. So this King of Cups here in reverse has realised that they needed to shift their perception. See, I'm still getting that there's someone here who is viewing this King of Cups as being someone who is imbalanced. Just being imbalanced. Tell me more about this King of Cups, please. Can I get one more card on the table? Thank you. Let's see what comes out. That's too many. I've been told to take them. Okay. So we have the Wheel of Fortune coming out. We have the Magician. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles, so the Death card under the deck. So the Wheel of Fortune is about luck, fortune, you know, destiny. Um, the Magician is about resources. It's also... It is about magic and you can see it as spell casting or you can see it as the magic within ourselves or the magic around that we see and how um this this person here is very good at manipulating energy or manifesting certain things um i heard through their belief system 
but number one is all to do this this magician is someone who has every resource that they need they can create whatever they want which is why they are the magician the wheel of fortune to the magician are really good flipping cards really good cards because this is luck and fortune and destiny next to this is almost like a wish coming true or um something that has been wanted for a very long time or desired for a very long time coming into fruition because this magician now has everything that they need where they are they have the luck they have the destiny they have the fortune they have wealth they have happiness they can now create whatever they want the thing is right next to it is the eight of pentacles in reverse and you look at her she's been working her butt off to the point that she's become a master at what it is that she's creating she is skilled in reverse this person isn't this person blew something and it came to an end. The death is like the end of a cycle, the end of some sort of situation or experience. And this King of Cups, I, I feel like this may have imbalanced them. They may have already been imbalanced. But for me to take all three of those out is very interesting. So let's put the Wheel of Fortune next to this King of Cups. And then put the Magician down. See and then put the eight of pentacles down so what did this person do because i heard they squandered something the ace of swords to, the, to death is coming out there's some sort of truth that needs to come out about an ending and i kept looking at this card at the bottom of the deck you've got the queen of swords and the queen of swords coming out here as well and then the emperor there is something um intuitive what is this information this person feels trapped by their decisions because they've done something here someone took a risk someone took a risk and the risk whatever they did it went wrong and i don't know who it is that's been healing but the perception of life has changed and because the perception of life has changed this person is effed they're trapped by what Let's figure out what they're trapped by. Why have we got so many queens coming out? What are they trapped by with the Eight of Swords? What is this tower? What's the tower? High Priestess in reverse. The Hanged Woman. Eight of Cups. Death card is still there. So the tower here was supposed to... It was supposed to do something to you that would have not been for your benefit. The High Priestess is somebody who's very responsible, somebody who sits in um, self-love. That's my opinion. They sit in self-love. They, This person's third eye is shut off. This person is not connected to the divine. They did something here out of ego. They did something here out of ego because as a high priestess or a high priest, there's no need for you to rush and not reflect on your actions or the, the options that you have and i say this every time now when i see the high priestess come out in reverse just as pete parker's uncle said and i'm such a nerd i love spider-man um with great power comes great responsibility this person here had power and i feel like they had um some if this person has used some sort of spell work it really is slapping them in the face it doesn't always have to be about magic. This, this high priestess in reverse, this is a fake high priestess. This person has done something really silly. Something that is almost like, um, I said this before in another reading, like karma spell or a revenge spell or hex or they that energy. If it's not a spell, this person's energy is like that. I'm going to get you back for doing this, this and this. And in doing so, they have brought on some sort of massive block because we've had the fall come out twice. They were trying to stop someone in their tracks. And I don't feel like it's just movement or you going to work or doing this or painting or jogging or blah, blah, blah. They wanted to stop your healing. You're healing quicker than that they can catch up and they can't catch up because they're not healing. They're not healing. And they put a continuous block in. And it was supposed to end something for you and it seems to have backfired and this person is this person's scared to go outside of their house they are scared to go outside of their house 
and I don't know there's something about sleep as well that they don't they don't like the eight of cups is usually something that is very emotionally overwhelming um and it's it's almost like give up I'm gonna walk away I can't be bothered this way it's about a continuous effort or having a continuous emotional status so to speak and then the hanged woman this is a, a block a pause a delay and then death so this person at the moment may be trying to to remove this block but they are scared by something outside their house or they're scared to go outside of their house they're scared to be seen um why are they scared to be seen why is this person scared to be seen should i put this here no okay let's find out the fall to the four of pentacles to the higher firm. clarity please clarity please okay king of swords and the queen of swords we've got now to the five of swords so there is an ending here whatever they did has resulted in them um splitting from a relationship this person thought that they were untouchable this high priestess and this king of cups they i don't feel like the king of cups and the king of swords are the same person i feel like um the queen of swords and the king of cups are a couple the high priestess may also be the queen of swords that's what i'm getting but the king of cups is somebody else this is somebody else what's going on here the five of swords this is a lot of arguing between two people who are very articulate very intuitive very um i heard well read because i don't know if this king of swords is like a barrister or a police officer or in the military but they're very um regimented in how they do things throughout the day how they speak to people this person is a leader this person is seen as a leader as well but someone here is offsetting this balance someone here is offsetting the balance you have the two of swords in reverse the two of swords in reverse is about making your mind up that's what i'm getting here going back to the start someone's made their mind up about um this queen of swords and i feel like it's the king of swords and there seems to be like this weird triangle or even square because it involves you as well because like whoever this king of cups is this could be like the queen of swords dad or mum or you know if i do use pronouns please know that i am picking up on energies um because we hold both masculine and feminine energy so if i say that and you want to swap the genders you want to get rid of them all together do whatever you know makes you happy as long as it is fitting in with your reading and you're not forcing it um but this queen of swords with the five of swords to the king of swords there's an argument here somebody here has been arguing and it's brought an ending to something here they've had to let go of some sort of contract union um brand deal whatever it is this may have been a marriage but i heard it so much more than that this queen of swords has been listening to someone here that um and it doesn't have to be their dad it could be a father figure it could just be somebody who sits very much in their masculine energy who it's almost like this person for those of you who are british who used to watch only fools and horses this masculine energy over here this king of cups is giving me del boy and for those of you who have never watched that del boy was um almost like he was a wheeler and dealer he was always trying to become a millionaire he was like don't worry rodney which is like his brother i think um by this time next year we'll be millionaires he was always trying to scam he was always trying to hustle he was the guy wearing the big jacket that would be like do you want to buy something you know and he'd have loads of things hanging on in inside of his jacket that's the energy that i'm getting from this masculine this person who has like these big dreams of hitting it making it big you know the wheel of fortune the magician card here and then you have the eight of pentacles in reverse you have temperance in reverse somebody who's always like we're going to do it the next the next thing the next thing the next thing's going to bring in money i don't know if this person gambles or they just like um that what's the word they have like a almost like a death wish this person's always seeking a thrill and that there's some sort of advice that has been given to this queen of swords or the queen of swords has given that person advice and i don't know how they know each other 
but they were working on something. This King of Swords has found out and has just said, the end, we're finished. The Fool has come out twice. The Fool has come out once where this Queen of Swords was trying to end something for you. And it has literally just blown up in this person's face. It has brought this energy that they were sending out back to them in the guise of their partner. Or whether this is a work partner or a relationship. But this, whatever this beginning was whatever this new thing was it's no longer on the books they've had to let this go they yeah look this king of swords does not want to invest in this person you also have the knight of pentacles to the hermit this person has taken their money elsewhere so if this was some sort of brand deal or job or it isn't anymore it's been thrown out it's literally been thrown out do you here can i get some more on um the three of swords please three of swords oh hello right so we've got the princess of swords coming out yes my nails work this time yay um the princess of swords it came out this way and then it flipped onto its butt this way the Princess of Swords is the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords um, is a very young energy. Think of like a teen or in your early 20s when you are just learning new things. You may be um, a student. You may be an apprentice. Um, this is somebody who is watching to learn. This is someone who assimilates information either by typing it, writing it. It could be listening. But this is also about gossip. Okay, With it in reverse. This is giving me, this King of Swords is not interested. They're not interested in the information they found out. And this may be what they ended up having an argument about. There's some sort of argument here where the King of Swords has called out the Queen of Swords over... Because this King of Swords has healed something. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. This King of Swords has healed something that has changed their perception of the Queen of Swords. I don't know if at some point they were working together or they both just viewed the world the same it's the same as standing around the water cooler at work and just gossiping about the other people in the office because just because or you know i used to work in daycare centers everyone would be bitching about each other excuse my language and i didn't like it but i will throw my hands up at some point you end up just leaning into that toxicity because that's what's there and it becomes you become used to it and it's not until you leave and you go oh my gosh i need to shower myself down and it took a it took a lot after that for me to heal that part of myself um but this between the king of swords and the queen of swords it seems like some sort of argument happened and i don't i feel like when the king of swords changed vibrations the queen of swords didn't like this there's something about finances, the Queen of Swords wanting that Knight of Pentacles energy. Now, I keep getting drawn back up to the Eight of Swords. Why am I being drawn to the Eight of Swords? Do I need a different deck? Yeah. Why am I being drawn to the Eight of Swords, please? Eight of Swords to the full card in reverse clarity on the table. Thank you. And we have here the Ace of Stones is in reverse. That's the second time that I've seen the Ace of Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles is about um, investing. It's the same as we were talking about that Seven of Pentacles at the start. You know, taking time to really kind of pour into yourself and reflect at how far you've come. Well, that Ace of Pentacles is where you start when you first plant that seed whether that's within yourself, whether that's in stocks and shares, whatever that may be. This being in reverse, this is not investing at all. This is not wanting to do something legally with this person. This King of Swords and Queen of Swords could have been on the brink of either marriage, they could have been on the brink of um, becoming partners in something, and the, the money and the interest has been removed, removed completely. Is also there seems to be an argument about this King of Cups in reverse. This is someone else that has also caused the fight. I 
I feel like there's more layers to this than just they they argued because of ABC. This there seems to be a lot of things going on here. Hanged man and then the king of cauldrons has come out. Okay, and justice. So this is either side piece, the king of cups in reverse, or this is like a father figure or a mother figure. Remember that you know we can hold masculine and feminine energy more more than one than the other, if that makes sense. Um, the hanged man coming out again is another cause, another block. And then you have the king of cauldrons, the king of cups. So why am I getting like an absent father for someone? And this queen of swords has been talking to this person. Why? That makes sense why I was getting like a death wish or seeking a thrill. This person may go in and out of prison. Um, they're always searching for that that one last job that they need to do to hit it big but they never do and this there's an argument of some sort over being paid or being given money in some way and you have the devil that's come out Let me show that to you. the devil card is to do with how um we allow certain things to control us be that substances alcohol um partners um, it can also be our own behaviour because we act through wounds. Um, you also have here the Ten of Spears to judgment in reverse. This this person here wants the end of some sort of negative judgment. I don't know what this King of Cups, how they were involved with trying to do something to you. There's definitely advice. There's conversations between this Queen of Swords and this King of Cups in reverse. And the way that she has her hand up, it's almost like this person's boundaries aren't respected when they should be. And you have these two mountains, and we were talking about that in the temperance card with the two mountains behind her. Um, you've got these two mountains around the back, right? I feel like this Queen of Swords has tried to set boundaries with this King of Cups more than once, and they've been ignored. They've been completely ignored. Or they've kept trying to put their boundaries up and they've been ignored. Um, but you, you know, what you are seeking is seeking you. The fact that they were trying to invade your boundaries is maybe why this King of Cups has been invading theirs. And I don't say that, you know, as a tit for tat. But the energy you put out is the energy you get back. Something, something, what actually spurred this argument? Like, how did this King of Swords find out? How did this King of Swords find out? How did they find out? Seven of cauldrons. Some sort of illusion was blocked. Some sort of illusion was blocked. Okay. Queen of Swords is in reverse. Because this Queen of Swords is coming out in the upright. She wants to be seen as being very regal, as being a leader, as, you know, her words are her honour, that she's very intuitive. But, I mean, even this Queen of Swords here has a band over her third eye. She can't see. She's not intuitive. The same as the High Priestess in reverse. Her eye is upside down. There's something that they that this person lied about when it comes to the connection they have with this King of Cups. And because they're not intuitive en enough to know, this King of Swords is a detective of some sort. No matter what they do as a job, because they may not be in the military, they may work in an office, but they have a very analytical mind. This person was able to read them and know when they were lying. And there was something specific, though. There was something specific here. They tried to... Because this King of Swords has blocked, with this being in reverse, this is about not taking a movement, not taking... They've blocked something here. This King of Swords is not interested in gossip. In They're not interested in... So this Queen of Swords tried to play it a certain way. Oh, the reason why I'm talking to King of Cups is because this, this, and this. And, oh, this was happening and blah, blah, blah. And they've been able to see through their life straight away. They've literally been able to see straight through it. This King of Swords is calling judgment on the Queen of Swords and the King of Cups. So this is... This is messy. So this King of Swords and the Queen of Cups are obviously a couple of some sort. And I can't tell if they're romantic or if it's just work related, but it's affecting the work in some way or it would affect a collaboration or if they were to work together. This King of Cups seems to be someone who's very, very shady, 
who is um, quite explosive or is they, they have a very short temper they are very combative and this king of swords sees this person as being a burden that they do not need so i don't know if this queen of swords came with this masculine like ah this person is my advisor or this person is going to be able to help with blah 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 and when the king of swords is like okay but let's see your um credentials and finds out this person's an ex-con and i'm not judging anyone who's been in prison because you know we all have different human experiences and we we learn we learn um but I think when the King of Swords may have asked about cer certain ideas or collaborations or something here to do with, well, how are you able to do this if in the past you could not do this? This Eight of Pentacles keeps shouting out to me. A massive argument, a massive, um, I don't know if it was like physical, I haven't got any like physical cards out, but a lot of arguing. The Five of Stones, and then you also have justice here coming out trying to play it as if and look i say that and you've got the emperor in reverse yeah this five of stones in reverse to justice there was some sort of pitch i feel like there was some sort of pitch that was thrown to this king of swords of if we do this if you in, you know invest the money that you have in this this and this then this is what we'll get back and we'll get our justice we'll get out of lack mentality because you have the five of pentacles twice i feel like this king of swords has matured or has changed their minds on something or they've just like i said they've changed their perspective on something and this queen of swords tried to they've tried to improvise something so it was like yeah yeah, yeah. no i like, i get that too like you know turn that frown upside down some bs like that you've got the hermit in reverse this King of Swords was able to read straight through them and, there, and an argument definitely ensued and it's to do with the High Priest and High Priestess. I, how was your name thrown into it? How was the collective name thrown into it? What's this? Six of Pentacles. Because I feel that there may have been some sort of... I don't know. I, this King of Swords may have said, well, they wanted to give you something. Or they want to gift you something. Six of Stones is in reverse. Wow, we've got the Six of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles upside down. So this is this King of Swords wanting to gift you something. I don't know if you are a healer or if you are on TV, if you're online, but this person, the King of Swords, is no longer looking at this Queen of Swords as a viable work colleague or collaborator or whatever that may be and is looking towards you as wanting to gift you something because they feel like that is justice for you or that is just and this queen of this queen of swords wants to take it as he's giving it she wants to take it you've got the tower here yeah someone this this queen of swords is very very much um in in the bed that they made for themselves. They've done this to themselves. Tell me more about this Eight of Swords though. Why are they scared to go out? You've got the Ace of Cauldrons in reverse and you've got the Four card that came out in reverse. That's three Fours that have come out now. Wow, okay. That's three Fours, that's crazy. I know I've used three decks, but I didn't expect to get so many replicas. Not replicas, um, you know what I mean. Two of Swords here to the Fool, to the Ace of Cauldrons. Who has this King of Swords told? There is something dodgy going on between the Queen of Swords and the King of Cups. And the King of Swords, he either has connections to different departments i'm hearing so this could be a police officer a sheriff they have connections to the right people like in law in government so this this queen of swords now is very worried that may be why they keep looking out the window why i keep getting pulled to this card they keep looking out the window and they feel trapped like what am i going to do they're definitely in a mental prison anything else page of cauldrons has come out and the four of stones okay so 
So this Queen of Swords here was definitely um, working together with this King, King of Cups in reverse to offer some sort of love offer towards you. This person was, this is like this person was trying to pick on you in many different ways. There's definitely a lot of jealousy here. There's a lot of competition. But with the Four of Stones in reverse, this is something they let go of. They had to let go of this. They had to let go of that. Opportunity or windfall has been taken from them. Unsettling times need to plan ahead is upside down. So this is what they were trying to do towards you. But you have the opportunity and windfall now coming out in your favour. Let's see. What do we need to know? Recognition, reward after merit. So you have a king of swords here who wants to gift you something. Um, this, this is a reward for merit especially recognizing what you've done and how far you've worked and how much you've worked maybe new creative ideas new ventures and fresh a fresh start so this is happening for you while there is a disappointment in some affair for this queen of swords it's all falling apart for this person it's all falling apart for this person it says use your intuition to make beneficial changes mm. Persevere and you will overcome problems. So anything that may come forward from this Queen of Swords or King of Cups, it's, it's, it's just flush it down the toilet. Seriously, a goal-orientated person, so I've got wax all over that. I do feel like that's the King of Swords that's coming forward. Let me pop you in as well. We'll get a couple before I go. Careers come out. I knew this was about work. Career and work. Anything else? Oh, hello, on the floor. Oops. Waiting for news package or letter. So there will be definitely be some sort of message coming in. And it says problems to be resolved. And then you have um, someone is working against you behind your back, but we already know that this is happening. Okay, last one, please. Hello. An arrogant, baseball person you should not cross. So we've definitely... Who is that? Why do I want to get the King of Cups up there? Anything else? Month of the year, April. So this argument may have happened in April. It's going to happen in April. Because the last one we have here is protection from a powerful friend. I'm telling you. And that's coming underneath the King of Swords. I'm going to leave it there. I really hope that gave you some confirmation and clarity on what you already intuitively know. I am so thirsty, my goodness. If you like what you heard and this resonated for you and you'd like to see more and when I post, I would love you to hit on the like, the subscribe and the notification bell so you can see just that. If you are a returning subscriber, sort of family hearts, kisses, love you guys. Please know that my readings are open, but only for 15 minute readings. I'm not doing hours or 30 minute ones because they take up a lot of my time when I am still trying to film. So I need to put all of those tarot cards everywhere. Um, love you guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.